Okay, everybody. So, um, sorry again, I'm not uh, there with you today, but uh, my sub has already handed out to you uh, a worksheet that looks something like this. It's kinematics assignment number one on it, science 10. Okay, basically just a graphing exercise, some, some stuff with position versus time graphs and velocity versus time graphs. Okay, uh, so we'll give you just a couple of tips and pointers and review things, uh, and then you guys are going to set to work on that. If you finish that, then you can work on your acceleration worksheets um, after that. So that's kind of your plan for today is some seat work and practice on, on this stuff. So a couple of things to remember here about our um, position versus time graphs, that we can calculate the displacement from a position time graph by subtracting the final position for whatever section we're talking about um, by subtracting, sorry, the initial position from the final position, so PF minus PI. Okay? If I want to calculate the distance traveled, then I add all the sections of the graph involved together uh, in order to get the total, regardless of what direction they're going. Okay? If I want to get the um, average speed, then I would take the total distance divided by the total time. And if I want to calculate average velocity, total displacement over total time, which can also look like this, final position minus initial position over time. Okay, that's all stuff that we've done already, but just kind of a reminder, okay, and that also the velocity of an object can be the slope of the line on a, on a uh, position versus time graph, okay. Uh, so for your first um, set of things here, it's basically just asking you to give the, to read the position off of the graph, okay, at various times, zero seconds, six seconds, 14 seconds. Something to note is the scale on this graph, okay, on the y-axis, every line is worth two okay so we got two four six eight ten all right so scale is really important all right and on the y-axis uh, it'll be less important because i'm actually only using full seconds um, at any one point so just kind of go up if it's talking about something at 14 seconds okay you just go straight up from 14 there'll be a dot there and then you can go across and figure it out so obviously if you have a dot that's in between lines like you do here okay uh, you got to look at the two lines that's in between of and it'll be an odd number Okay, um, so just looking at that there for question number one. Okay, and if we're looking at, um, you know, question number two, we're looking at the total displacement um, to two seconds. So sorry, we'll go back to our um, version of it here. Okay, calculate the total displacement from zero seconds to two seconds, from zero seconds to four seconds, from zero seconds to 11 seconds. Okay, so again, final position minus initial. Okay, then total distance traveled for the same intervals. For question number four, total displacement between two and four, four and eight, 12 and 16. Okay, same as always. And then the, the distance traveled in those same time intervals. Okay, for question number six, we're looking for average velocity for these time intervals. Okay, for question number seven, total displacement for the entire trip. Question 7b, total distance of the entire trip. C, average velocity. D, average speed. All things we've done before, so you guys know how to do those. Okay, just make sure that you, uh, sh you know, show your a little bit of your work, if at all possible, and definitely the answers on the sheet that the sub has handed out to you. Okay, for question number eight, okay, uh, this is using this velocity versus time graph that we see down below, all right, uh, again, look at the scale, every line is worth one on both the x and y axis, okay, uh, it's fairly clear and should be pretty clear on your sheet and you can draw whatever lines and shapes you may possibly require, okay, on there. Um, so for question number eight, okay, part A, the total displacement over the whole trip. For part B, average velocity over the whole trip, okay, uh, acceleration between 10 and 15 seconds, uh, D, acceleration, okay, so it's all stuff that we've done uh, before, okay, shouldn't have any trouble. Of course, you can ask a friend if you run into any trouble there, but I think you guys have got that kind of stuff under control. So uh, that's what you'll be working on today when you have finished that entire sheet. Then you can move on to your acceleration uh, worksheets from page 24. Uh, okay, the ones we were working on yesterday, there's two pages of acceleration problems. You can finish those up, okay? And that should take you uh, the entire class. All right, so again, sorry guys that I'm not there. Um, my son's uh, having surgery today, so um, you can pray for him. That would be awesome. Um, otherwise, I will hopefully see you guys all tomorrow.